Hey folks, Lord Thunder Monkey back here doing another mob review with you. This time we're looking at a Sip Forest Harvester. But before we get into that, if you guys like these videos, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much, give me a thumbs down. Either way, let me know in the comment section down below why it is you felt that way. What I can make better, what I can make worse for you guys. But if you really liked them, subscribe along. Check out the rest of my mod reviews as well as my Let's Plays and tell your friends about them. As far as the modders go, I'm going to give you guys a shout out because I really want to thank you for putting this new equipment out there and making the game constantly fresh and new because I'm afraid without it, it would kind of get boring and old as the same farming game. This really changes things. I'm going to be critical of your mods just due to the fact that I like to have really, really nice uh, equipment that functions and looks well for my Let's Plays as well as letting everybody know who's watching these videos how it's going to look in their game and how it's going to affect them as, uh, as a game player themselves. It's not because I am any good at as a modder. It's just just simple the fact that I can't do it. I'm thankful that you guys uh, are available to add these to our game. So let's check this out in the shop. The one thing I haven't been able to find is where it belongs in the shop. I've looked under forage harvesters. and I did look under forage harvesters, didn't I? Did not, didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. I looked under harvesters the whole time. I'm a blockhead, so I ended up look, looking up under sip. But here it is. It is the sip. It is a single row. I mean, it, it's doing half meter at a time, running at six miles an hour. It only needs 40 horsepower to run. Uh, costs you ten dollars a day. There are no upgrades for it. So let's check this guy up out close and personal. Let's get right in there on it. You can see it looks like it's got a little wear in here. It's not exactly brand new. The corn's been rushing over it and and kind of tearing it up. I don't see anything that would lead me to believe that there's any discrepancies in here. He's got cotter pins in the pins here, in the holes, in the tire, a little bit of rust. Knob doesn't look exactly brand new on the end where, the, where it connects up. It's got a nice stand there. I'd say overall it's well laid out. This guy looks really, really nice. Let's get up here. Uh, I mean, if, if I say I'm going to nitpick, let's go ahead and nitpick it. Let's get right up close. I did this with the solar shut across the way. And you can see, very well done. Very well done. So we're going to get in this guy. This is a 70 high horsepower tractor. It is the stock in-game tractor. I like to keep things vanilla around the mods so we know what the mod's actually doing. Excuse me. As opposed to the tractor itself. I don't like to blend things. That way we don't get confusion on what we have here. Hitch is up nice. Also has the hitch. Look, look, let's hop it. Check that out. Hitch is right on there. Nice pin going through it. Really, really nice. Way to have that set up really well. A pin on that up there where it links on. Very nice. So let's take this guy over. Open up our wa wagon here. I need some corn. We got corn around here someplace. We're going to go screaming over here at 19 miles an hour. I know, not exactly screaming. It does not like this crowd. Oh, man, is that bumpy. Ground response mod, thank you very much. You do an excellent job. I know I've got corn over here. Where did I put it? Oh. That's my son in the background. He is the creator of the Lord Thunder Monkey channel art. I gave him the idea, I was like, here's what I want to do, I want Lord Thunder Monkey, I said, I need you to draw it. And so he came up with the channel art that you guys see when you uh, hit my channel up. But that, I mean, I never would have given, you know, a thought as to, as to doing that the way he did it. I'm very thankful that he was capable of doing that. I'm not an artist, he is, uh, and he does some really, really nice work. Let's go ahead and let's see this guy. Let's see here, F1. Um, oh, I'm on the trailer. O to pipe out. Rotates over, finds the trailer. V to lower the header. Got her kind of balled up, so she got a little, little hitched up in there. And then we can hire a worker with this guy too. But um, she doesn't seem to want to go. Let's try AI Helper. Now the AI Helper does want to go. It's 
figuring it out. Let's just see here. Let's see, it's a bit. It is figuring it out. It's having trouble with it. The regular uh, and see, uh, it stopped. So there's there there there's a little something here that's given it, it issues in the game. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see if she gets this corrected out. Animations are good. It goes right into the trailer. So you say this looks kind of funky, Zach? Look at that. It does animate that well, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know that running at a half mile an hour, running half a meter wide is how you want to do this. So we are going to actually... Insufficient power? I mean insufficient power. Well, maybe that's our problem. It said only 40 horsepower. Now, you guys saw that with me. So this says, let's get in here again. This says 40 horsepower, okay? So the tractor I picked out was the Zeter here. 75 horsepower. That's double what it should need. But yet, it's saying there's an issue. So let's just get ridiculous. This is 288 horsepower. We'll flop her down over here. Gotta love the teleport mod, right? If you guys haven't added that to your folder, check that one out. That's a game a game changer. Especially on a big map, if you're playing by yourself and you really don't care about realism, you're just trying to get stuff done. Otherwise, you could spend, you know, hours just traveling across the map. So now, 288 horsepower. So I want you to tell me now. Alright. So the air helper's going again. And yeah, that's much better. It's cruising now. So, what's a horsepower issue? Otherwise, this this runs along real well. You can see it. Now you can't see it because of the tire there. This is a much bigger tractor. It is. Get in there. It looks like it's really sucking that corn in. I like the animations on this. It does require a little bit more horsepower than what it says it, uh, uh, it should. Granted, we way overkilled it here because I had that tractor available, but it'll definitely do the job. Nice little guy. It'll take you a while to har harvest a whole. I mean, one run down, 863. Not exactly killing it, but overall, really nice mod. So if you guys like this mod, check it out. Add it to your mode folder. Thank the modders for coming up with this guy. As always, I'm Lord Thunder Monkey. Share this with your friends, tell them all about them, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.